Cornelius. And his trainer, Howard Grant. Who said the one thing in, in our conversation with him is that you get hypnotized by Bernard Hopkins, and then when you wake up, you've lost the fight. Absolutely right. Well, what he meant is that Bernard makes you fight at his pace, makes you fight his fight, and you're not going to beat him at his fight. So the real task here for Mr. Ornelas is to make Hopkins fight at Ornelas' pace, which is not easy to do. A lot of guys have tried. Ornelas has won four of his last five fights. And... Well, seemed very positive in our meetings with he him did. yesterday. And one of the reasons is, an interesting thing about Enrique Ornelas is that on two occasions, he was hired by Bernard Hopkins to be a sparring partner. And he uh, actually had to imitate Winky Wright for like six weeks and fight left-handed as a southpaw, which is not his natural way of fighting. He says Bernard Hopkins does not really know what he has because he didn't show him everything in the gym. Uh, my question would be, would he come into this fight against Bernard Hopkins with a sparring partner's mentality? Absolutely legitimate question. Absolutely. But, you know, he, he assured us that he only showed Bernard partial, you know, a partial bit of a small portion of his talent, and that tonight he's going to see the real thing. And there he is. Making his way into the ring. And now we go back to Nino Del Bono. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the to the blue corner. We could all rip a page out of this man's book. He went undefeated at one time for 14 years. Was never one pound more or less than his fighting weight. He helps young fighters coming up because he knows how hard it was when the big time boxing promoters would not promote his fights. Sinatra were standing here, he'd be singing my way, because that's how Bernard did it. Ladies and gentlemen, on your feet, and show this man the love and respect he deserves, Mr. Bernard indeed on its feet, cheering their hometown hero, and this is a special night for him. I mean, he wants to keep boxing alive and excited here in Philadelphia. It means a lot to him. It does, because he knows that he's an important link in a chain that goes back, you know, through Joe Frazier, through Gypsy Joe Harris, through Benny Briscoe, all the way back to Philadelphia Jack O'Brien. I mean, this is just a great fight now. He's an important part of that history. He wants to keep it going. At the same time, Sam, as we mentioned in the open, it's a difficult night for Bernard. I mean, he thought that this was going to be the final tune-up before the fight he's wanted since 1993, and that is a rematch with Roy Jones Jr. If you're a fight fan and you're watching this, you know what happened. Bernard certainly knows what happened. We're going to show you what happened after this fight is over. But now he has to keep his focus on this fight, not knowing where it leads. Well, that's that's really the question with Bernard Hopkins. Where is his head at as he comes into the ring tonight? Here's the tail of the tape, Wally. And obviously, you know, the, the significant statistic right there, the age 44 years old, Bernard Hopkins will be 45 years old in January. He's a physical marvel. Weighed in at 175. Looks absolutely fabulous. Got a three-inch reach 
reach advantage over Enrique Ornelas and a limitless amount of talent. Take a look at the uh, unified rules. It'll be in effect tonight for this 12-round bout. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Only the referee can stop the fight, and neither fighter can be saved by the bell in any round of the fight. We are getting ready as they fight this fight at light heavyweight weight class. Bernard Hopkins weighed in at exactly 175. Here's Nino Del Bono with gentlemen. the introduction. Once again, welcome to the Leocora Center here at Temple University, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where this evening, Golden Boy Promotions East, along with our sponsor, MGM Grand of Las Vegas, presents 12 rounds of boxing in the light heavyweight division. The judges for this contest, Mr. Bobby Grasso, Mr. Steven Weisfeld, and Mr. Raul Caiz. Ladies and gentlemen, when the bout, when that bell rings, man in charge, Gary Rosato, your referee. This bout is sanctioned by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission. Commissioner Rudy Battle. Executive Director Greg Sir. Counting for the knockdowns. Jimmy Mina. Timekeeper. Freddie Bloomstein. Ladies and gentlemen, and here. That he's fought over 170 pounds up until then he was the middleweight and the undisputed middleweight champion of the world an incredible 20 successful defenses 12 years without being beaten i mean he has, it's a really tough record to beat and interestingly enough i mean we thought he was washed up before he fought felix trinidad he was 37 years old and here he is Eight years later. The career that started in 1988, he was inactive in 89, and really got going in 1990. Bernard Hopkins. Enrique Ornelas said one of the keys, don't get hit with stupid shots. Right, very important. By the way, something we haven't mentioned, he's the brother of Lebrado Andrade, yes. who was uh, stopped uh, just last week by Lucien Boutte with uh, that body shot, solar plexus shot. Up so, in Quebec City. He'll be looking for that punch. Oh, 
Don't forget, you can score this fight along with Wally Matthews and us here at ringside by logging on to www.versus.com slash scorecard. Ten point must system, ten points to the winner of a round, nine points to the loser, eight points if there's a knockdown, and ten points to each fighter if there's no clear cut winner. You'll join us for the scoring of the fight. We believe in Wally. We have to take <laughs> Yeah. Good pressure by Ornelas. But, you know, Bernard plays the slowdown game so well. Very relaxed in there. You know, he's trying to low Ornelas into his little trap. That's what he does. Ornelas knows it as well. And sometimes, even when you know it, you know, it's like you know it's coming and you can't hit it. with some long-range plans that originally began with the rematch with Roy Jones Jr. And we're going to take you to Australia and show you the Roy Jones-Danny Green bout. Roy Jones was beaten in that fight, and that may totally break up the plans of Bernard Hopkins. Well, even more important than seeing that fight, which will be important if you haven't seen it yet, you want to hear what Bernard Hopkins' reaction was, because this will be the first yeah. place to hear it tonight, when he woke up this morning and found out that the fight he'd been waiting for almost two decades is not going to happen. But he's also talking about going up and fighting as a heavyweight. David Hay. That's who he wants. The WBA champion. He's got to get past this guy first. Scheduled for 12. The light heavyweight. Bernard Hopkins. Hand, Enrique Ornelas. Punch out. Let's go. Punch out. Get the arm out of there. Get the arm out of there. Gary Rosado. Get loose. Get the arm out. Free! Free! Get the back of Work inside as we come to the final seconds of the opening round, scheduled for 12. 